One time I was on the bus. <laughs> okay, hold on. One time I was on the school bus home and I had to shit so bad. I don't even think uh, I should be sending this, but the bus hit a hard ass bump and a little bit of poop came out. Thankfully, my stop was two blocks away, but it was so horrible. I had to go home and scrub my underwear and hop in the shower. Wow. Uh, viewer confession, I miss her. It's okay, man. Um, we all go through these times, bro. It's going to be okay, man. You know, it is what it is. At freshman year, I'm a soft... Wait, in freshman year... What? At freshman year, I'm a sophomore year now. What the hell is happening? Anyway, okay, I'm a sophomore now. This girl used to take pictures on her phone and show me her tits in, in the... Wait, what? What the hell is happening? Hold on. What is... Like, why is he typing like this? This isn't me. Like, this isn't a reading issue. Why is he talking like this? I asked my teacher when she was expecting, and she told me she wasn't pregnant. Oh, dude. Dude, that's just... Oh, man, that's... God, I'm praying for you, man. Did you fail the class? You probably failed your ass, too. <laughs> Personally, me, I would have failed you. Um, but, you know, okay. <laughs> While I was jerking off, I busted on my face and accidentally lift it, licked it off. How the fuck did you accidentally lick it off, you weirdo? You know what I mean? Like, yo, how did you accidentally... All right, bro, you didn't accidentally do anything. You're a weird guy. <laughs> You're a weird guy. How do you bust on your face? Oh, no, that's not what I was disagreeing with. My sister is being mean to me, so I asked her if she was on her period because I didn't know it was bad. And then my dad heard me, and he pulled me into another room and started beating me. Okay. Hey, Todd, I don't mind if you read this on stream, since I want motherfuckers to know how great you are. To be honest, you helped me out of dark times. Uh, you helped me out of dark at hell times. I've been speaking to you more regularly than you think, and you've done a few things with you. And genuinely think you help my mental health. Love you a ton, Brody. Hey, I'm glad I can help anyone out, man. If you guys are ever going through something, man, feel free to DM me, bro. You know, don't, you, you don't, you can DM me. I don't, I will respond. If it's a real DM, I will respond to you, you know? Um, but, you know, I'm glad you guys are doing good, man. Um, I hope all of you guys just, you know, stay positive, man. You know what it is, man? Like, times are tough, but you, you know, it's not going to be hard forever, bro. And I know a lot of people have been going through some tough times, man, but it's not going to be that way forever. So um, if you guys ever need to DM me, if you need help or anything, you can DM me on IG, you know, Twitter, you know, Discord, anything, bro. I will try to respond if it's a real one. Um, but yeah, you know, man. So um, I'm glad you guys are doing good, man. I, and I'm glad that I can help anyone, bro. You know, my uncle actually got caught by Chris Hansen. I'm being for real. <laughs> Oh, what? No fucking way. Yo, what? I thought those shows were... I thought that was a fake show. Really? I used to roleplay and I was in multiple marriages that I'm not proud of because the E family tree... It caused the E family tree to be messed up. <laughs> Yo, what? All right, man. Uh, one time I was on my period and I was scared to go to the bathroom to change my pad. And the whole day it was leaking out and I had a jacket wrapped around my waist and when i got home it looked like a murder scene oh my god <laughs> jesus christ <laughs> looked like a fucking murder scene <laughs> jesus <laughs> uh tell this is real wait this is real but it sounds fake so i'm asian and i hide i hide my mom's rice cooker because i eat rice every fucking day and every time she has a new one there's about 15 rice cookers in my basement. Right now, she is cooking rice. Please help me. <laughs> so you're going out of your way to hide the rice cookers. All right, bro. It's getting out of hand, bro. <laughs> Jesus, man. All right, y'all. I hope you enjoy your rice today. You know? It's okay. Anyway, let's keep going. I shoved the shampoo bottle up there, and it felt kind of nice. Also, my name is Jared. <laughs> Yo, you guys gotta stop fucking signaturing shit, and this Jared meme needs to stop. There is no one named Jared in this stream. Please stop. I used to wrestle my pillow like I was in a WWE WrestleMania facing The Rock. <laughs> Yo, I don't even blame you because I would try to RKO everyone. Like, I was probably a threat back in the day. I would literally walk around and RKO anyone I saw. At school, I put a thumbtack on my ex-friend's chair, and she sat on it, and oh my god, I was smiling the entire school day. What the hell is wrong with you? I played Fortnite all day on the day of my grandmother's funeral. Who 
We're doomed. This generation is doomed. Yeah, um, we're doomed. I was in like seventh grade and I tripped this fat bitch and she fell. And when she fell, I mean she fell. Her fat just fucking jiggled and she acted like she couldn't move, so they had to get her a wheelchair. She never came back since. No one knows that it was me. <laughs> Yo, what? You guys are all so fucked up, man. I just want to say, I'm so proud of how far you've come up. You're a great show and make me laugh every day. Psych, bitch. By the way, you're trash at Roblox Uno. When's my 1v1? Wow, I was actually going to be like, wow, thanks, Jayla. Um, I appreciate you. And then you immediately just fucking switched up. So go fuck yourself. <laughs> I'll be honest, my body is weird, I can't take a shit with socks on, and to be honest, I need to sleep with the rock in a hard erection like the most destructive, powerful meat buster. What? <laughs> so you can't sleep, you can't take a shit without socks on, and you can't sleep with, and you need to sleep with the rock hard erection. <laughs> T. Dickles, it's my fish's birthday today. Can you say happy birthday, Gertrude? Daddy, please, I'll bark. Wow, happy birthday, Gertrude. W Gertrude in the chat. <laughs> yeah. All right, anyway, uh, let's keep going. I tried shoving seven fingers down there. Yeah, that's fucking wild. <laughs> yeah, that's fucking seven. All right, I put rat poison in my brother's food. What? Yeah, okay, I'm not even going to talk on this one. You're, you're insane. Um, okay. Confession. As a kid, I always wanted to swim with my pet fish. So one night, for some dumbass reason, I grabbed my fish, put him into my pocket, and tried to go outside to my pool. But I soon figured out that this dude was dead. I put him back, and I was never caught. <laughs> Why did you put it in your pocket? Like, you could have put it in a cup and walked with it. You could have done anything but your pocket? All right, man. <laughs> I go by the name of Matthew, and last Friday, I was pretty drunk. I got kicked out of the club because a guy thought I put my finger in his ass. I went crazy saying to the bouncer and my friends I didn't do shit. We still decided to leave. I have no idea, but I just remember putting my finger in this guy's ass pretty deep. Why did I do that, man? Jesus, Matthew. Matthew, what the hell is wrong with you? Matthew, come on, man. What the hell is wrong with you, Matt? My ex cheated on me, and I never told my IRLs what happened. He disappeared one day, and I found out he got arrested for soliciting a prostitute. Don't trust nobody because this man gave me no explanation, but at least he was honest. He has no idea I looked up his jail record before he confessed to me. Jesus Christ. <laughs> you guys are just with fucking criminals. I asked my gay friend to check the boy out that I like in the locker room. <laughs> Yo, what? Hey, yo, what the fuck, man? I mean, that's pretty smart, though. That is pretty smart. Good idea. Lost my virginity to the OG Fortnite theme. I almost killed my cousin's dog. I love you so much. I blame the autistic kid in my class for ruining my homework because I didn't do it, and he got suspended. You have problems, okay? You have problems, and you should get out of the chat right now. You have fucking problems. You're sick. All right, uh, next. Mike's boyfriend called me and said his ass hurts really bad. I went over to his house because I felt bad, and he was dead ass crying. Turns out he had a huge hemorrhoid. And me being the best fucking girlfriend, I got some witch hazel wipes, and I wiped his ass. I literally wiped his fucking ass, and then he cheated on me a month later. I wiped his fucking ass, and he cheated on me. <laughs> Yo, fuck that, man. I'm never wiping anyone's ass, bro. That is crazy. I don't care who you are. I'm not wiping anyone's ass, bro. City boys! A few years ago, I ate a bunch of pizza rolls before going to my friends, and my fart smelled so bad. And later, we went outside to smoke, and it was just pouring. And I tried to hold my fart, but apparently it wasn't just a fart. And I didn't find out until next morning, and there was dookie in my underwear. What the fuck? <laughs> All right, I'll try to use the correct word and not make it too inappropriate. So basically, when I was 11 or 12, I discovered the adult world of, you know, not safe for work content. And at that time, I had an 18 plus magazine called Black Queens and Kings. And I had a crush on this really cute black girl. So the idea 
So I had the idea to print her face out and put it on every black woman in the magazine. They were naked because it was 18 plus magazine. I started doing my thing and I was at my limits. The queen section ended. And as soon as I turned the next page, the king section started. And there was this naked guy with a big ass schlong. And I, since I was at my limit, I put the printed face on his. Wait, yo! I put the printed face on it, this big ass man with a big schlong. And you know, I pew pew, I shot my. Yo! You put it on the dude? <laughs> You put it on the guy? Yo, dude, come Oh my. Dude, that's fucking wild, man. That is fucking just... Alright, bro. This guy just goes W experience. That is not a W experience. What the fuck? I went to prom and this girl was cold, so I gave her my jacket and I got hard from it. <laughs> she, dude, you gave her your jacket and you got hard? Dude, what the fuck? Fuck! Why did you send this? Dude, she wasn't even touching you. She was touching something you owned. Dude, yeah, all right. Over the weekend, I went to Carol G. I went to a Carol G. concert with my sister and some of her friends. Long story short, a girl that I met at the concert gave me head in the bathroom for disabled people. That shit was magical, not gonna lie. I'm underscore Chriso, by the way. Will you wake up? <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Yo, Chris, oh, you good, man? Is this a real story? Did this happen? Did this happen, or is this is this cap? Is this cap? Bro, pulling up in the crip house. Is this cap, Chris? Because I've seen them fucking dogs. Yeah.